In this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, difference between what a relation is and a function, and also uh, explain the concepts of domain and range for relations or functions. And we'll start with the definition first of all. A relation is any connection between variables, or any relationship. So anything you could possibly write as an equation could be class would be classified as a relation. There are also other ways to define or, or write a relation, and we'll talk about that a little bit on the next page. So uh, I've given I have three examples here uh, of equations: y equals 2x plus 1, x squared plus y squared equals 36, f of x. Remember, f of x is the same as y, uh, equal or whatever you want to call your uh, dependent variable. Uh, f of x equals 3x squared minus x plus 5, and another one: uh, 6x squared minus 5y squared equals 30. Now. Before we get into what a function is, we have to talk about domain and range. And domain is uh, a term used to describe the set of all possible or permitted numbers in the set of the independent variable. Now, often the independent variable is x. In fact, in all of the uh, um, uh, functions and relations written up here, um, x is the uh, independent variable. It's the one you choose normally if you're making a table of values uh, to put some numbers in place of x and you could calculate then what y is to make ordered pairs. So the um, so it's often called x but it doesn't have to be. The range is a set of numbers for the dependent variable we often call y. And so in I've got graphs for each of these. Uh, y equals 2x plus 1 is a line that goes through the y-axis at 1. And the line goes forever up to the right in this direction. And it goes forever down to the left in this direction. And so it's defined for the entire set of real numbers. Now the real numbers include whole numbers, positives and negatives. Uh, any uh, any decimals you could possibly think of, uh, any fractions you could possibly think of, uh, irrational numbers like radicals, um, those are all real numbers. And so, and if you look at the equation, you can put any number you want in place of x. There's no number that you can't multiply by two and add one. Okay, so that's why we say the set of uh, the domain for this is a set of real numbers. And the way we write that is the domain, which is x in this case, uh, is a member of, and that's what that Greek letter epsilon stands for, and this funny capital R stands for the set of real numbers. And a lot of people will just say xer, um, which, which means x is a member of the set of real numbers. Now, the set of y numbers, y could actually literally be any real number as well. Uh, you can get... Um, uh, if you're multiplying any real number by 2 and adding 1, there's no, no y value you could never get. And if you look at the graph, you see the graph does go up. y increases to large positive numbers. And the same thing in this direction increases to large negative numbers. So there's no y value that, could, isn't, that isn't possible for this graph. And so that's why we would write for the range. y is also contained in the entire set of real numbers. Now, uh, the 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 middle one here, x squared plus y squared equals uh, 36, that's actually the equation of a circle. And um, this is a circle with a center at 0, 0 and a radius of 6. The, uh, this number here is actually the square root of, uh, is the radius squared, so the square root of this is 6. So notice it goes through 6 on the x-axis, negative 6 on the x-axis, and 6 and negative 6 on the y-axis. This uh, point here is illustrating that 0, 6 is a point on the graph. Now, so notice that for this graph, the lowest value for x is negative 6, and the highest value for x is positive 6. So the way we would write the domain for this is it's all real numbers between negative 6 and 6. And so the way you would write between negative 6 and 6 is x is greater than or equal to negative 6 and less than or equal to positive 6. When you write the inequalities like this, this means that x varies from negative 6 to 6. Those equal to signs in the bottom means we also include negative 6 and 6 is not just between those numbers. Now the same is true for the range. Uh, y is all real numbers from negative 6 down here to positive 6 up here. On this circle, y would never be a number, for example, bigger than 6 because the graph doesn't go above 6 or it doesn't go below negative 6. So we'd write something similar. Remember, uh, y is the set of, uh, range is the set of y values, so make sure that it says y is between negative 6 and 6. Now this next one here, f of x equals 3x squared minus x plus 5, is a parabola. 
And I've actually, when I graphed this in my graphing calculator, I tried to put the uh, the point it's uh, illustrating here right at the vertex. The vertex isn't exactly this, but it's very, very close, so we'll use this as the example. Now, the domain for this is any real number. The the graph goes forever to the right, you know, keeps on going up way, way, way up there, and uh, to the left as well, keeps on increasing. So, like, if I went way over here, uh, up there somewhere would be the parabola. So, and from the equations point of view, I can put any number I want in place of x. There's any, you, there's no number that you can't square, multiply by three, and then subtract that same number and add five. There's no restriction on on that whatsoever. You can do that for any number you could possibly think of. So that's why the domain is the entire set of real numbers. However, the range has a restriction. The lowest, and that's the reason I put this point here. The lowest y value on the graph is this negative 5.08. Uh, as we go along the graph here, y would become bigger and actually becomes positive here, and the same about in this direction. Y is, you know, maybe about negative one right there, uh, and it's zero there, and it keeps on increasing in this direction. So the lowest possible y value is negative 5.08. So we would say y is uh, contained in the entire set of real numbers with a restriction, and that's what this uh, vertical line. Is. Actually, it stands for the words such that y is greater than or equal to negative 5.08. The last one here, uh, this is actually the graph of what's called an ellipse. So it does keep on going up there and down here in this direction, and the same here in this direction, and the same up to the left there. Uh, so notice that there are no x values between here. And in fact, it looks like that's probably 2 and negative 2. It's not exactly. It's close. So. Um, to find out exactly what it is, you actually what you'd have to do is find the intercepts. And so what we can uh, do here, actually, to find an x-intercept, what you do is you put 0 here in place of y. And so this whole term would actually become 0, because uh, 5 times 0 squared is 0. So you would actually have uh, 6x squared equals 30. And then if we were to divide out the 6 to solve for, to start solving for x, actually you would solve for x squared doing that, you would get x squared equals 5. And so if you take the square root of that, and don't forget when you take the square root, there's two answers, plus or minus the root of 5. The root of 5 is, uh, is a decimal that's around 2.23, 2.24, something like that. But that's specifically... Um, that's specifically what uh, these numbers are. That's negative root 5 and that's positive root 5. So the domain would be x is less than or equal to negative root 5 over here and greater than or equal to root positive root 5 over here. I think I said root 5 here is actually negative. So we write it like this. x is less than or equal to negative root 5 for uh, this part of the graph over here uh, and it can also be greater than uh, or equal to positive root 5 over here. Now. The, uh, the range is the entire set of real numbers. You see it goes forever up, so y can be any large positive number or large negative no number down here. There's no restrictions on what y could be. It's the entire set of real numbers. So that's a little bit about what domain and range are for, for some graphs. Now, uh, about what a function is. We talked about relations, functions. A function is a special kind of relation in which for each number in the domain, x in this case, all these cases, there is only an exactly one possible value in the range. So for each x, there's only one possible y. So here's an example I talked about in the last page about how uh, besides equations, there's other ways to define what a relation is. And you could just list, list some ordered pairs. It doesn't have to be four. So I've listed uh, four ordered pairs that we can say this is a relation, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 3, negative 1, 7, and 0, 6. That's a relation. There's no particular pattern to it. I've just sort of picked random numbers, except in the middle here, I've actually made two ordered pairs with the same x-coordinate. And because we have two ordered pairs with the same x-coordinate, this is a relation, but it's not a function. Because for each number in the domain, so for example, for the negative 1, there is supposed to only be one possible on the range. You see, because of the negative 1, 3 and the negative 1, 7, there's two different ordered pairs with the same x-coordinate. Negative 1 maps to 3, or negative 1 maps to 7. It maps to two different numbers, the same x value. So that's why this is a relation, but it would not be a function. 
Now what that means graphically is there's two different points um, vertically like on top of one another. So for example if you take a look at this circle right here and I talk about uh, these are the same ones from the last page. Uh, I've drawn this circle and I, I used my graphing calculator to illustrate that this point is 3 comma 5.1961 approximately and this point down here has the same x value and notice the y value is negative 5.1 so it's actually the same number but the opposite. So those two points are illustrate two points on this relation the circle that have the same x value but two different y values. And so this would be a relation but it's not a function. And so here we get something called the vertical line test. If you can draw a vertical line through your graph, your uh, relation somewhere, such that it cuts in two different, cuts through the graph in two different places, then that illustrates two different points that have the same x value but different y values. And so that's why this circle is a relation, but it is not a function. So the vertical lines test says this. A relation is a function if and only if there is no possible way to draw a vertical line through the graph that touches the graph in more than one point. So um, it's only a function if there's no way to draw a vertical line cutting two points or more points, I suppose. Therefore, the, re uh, the relation is not a function if it is possible to draw a vertical line that crosses the graph in more than one point. So about that vertical line test up here, so over here, and actually, you may not have seen it, I, drew, I just drew a, uh, a vertical line through here. See, it's cutting through this hyperbole in two different, po uh, two different places. So this would not be a function. Now, when a relation, um, when you can draw it so that the vertical line crosses in two or more places, these two are said to fail the vertical line test. If you look over here at this line, the y equals 2x plus 1, I've drawn a couple of vertical lines and they only cross the line at one point. So that's why this would be a function. Over here in my parabola, I just drew a vertical line and another one there and another one over here. And each one of those only crosses the parabola once. So that would be a function. So the uh, y equals 2x plus 1 and the uh, parabola are said to pass the vertical line test because there's no way to draw a vertical line that cuts it in more than one place. The uh, circle and uh, the 6x squared minus 5y squared equals 30 graph are said to fail the vertical line test because there is a way to draw a vertical line that touches in two or more places. And that's the end of the video.